probably the first thing to know about this video. It's not just about how to install an SSD into a, a Lenovo Idea Center or any PC or laptop. It's about why you should be buying an SSD to install into your PC or laptop. The performance difference between an SSD and a standard hard drive is absolutely phenomenal. And towards the end of the video, I'll show you some benchmarking of the standard Idea Center that I've got and then with the SSD in it. So I'm hoping today is the day that everything changes because I have got my crucial MX500 2 terabyte SSD uh, and I'm going to take you through the process of fitting it. And the reason that I've bought this for about £295 is simply by PC is way too slow. So I do video editing and just general purpose um, playing around on the PC. But this is way, way too slow. Um, it's a Lenovo 700 27 inch all in one PC. It's running on an a Intel i7 6700 central processing unit at 340 gigahertz. I've installed some additional RAM, so it's running, it's running on 12 gig of RAM, and uh, I think it's a two terabyte hard drive in there as well. Uh, it's running on the Windows 10 Home 1803 version, because uh, I'm just waiting for the latest one to come out. But, let's just have a look. So, this has arrived, and the first thing that I've got to do with it, apparently, or the easiest way to do it is to clone the hard drive oh look at that look at that right so two gigahertz uh, sorry two terabytes fantastic there's the instructions and there should be cloning software to clone the hard drive from that onto that so then it's just a case of swapping out the hard drive and the SSD and um, we should be good to go and to do that to do the cloning I've also had to purchase this which should be a USB yeah there we go a USB to SATA um, connection lead so it's just a case of connecting the PC to this running the software swapping it out should be as simple as that let's give it a shot so we need to download the software now, uh, which is a Cronus software. And basically, if you go into crucial.com on your browser, this will open up, SSD support, and you need to come down. You don't need the storage executive. That just um, makes the storage easy. What you need to do is to go into the Windows, uh, sorry, the Microsoft Windows instructions there. And then... Uh, I didn't get a product key with the SSD because it came from Amazon. So it says if you did not receive an Ax uh, and a Cronus product key in your SSD package, see this page for a guide on using an updated version of the Acronis, which does not require a, um, a product key. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, and it takes us to Acronis, which is the... I've got the Cronus UK and click on the global and then you just download the cloning software and it's as simple as that at this stage. Okay, so while the cloning software is downloading, let's get this out and get it set up. So you definitely need one of these anyway. So that's what we're going to use to transfer the data onto this beast. Right, so that's um, a spacing plate, very light, very light, and it should say somewhere, oh yeah, there it is, 2000 gigabyte or 2 terabyte, and that's just going to connect onto that, let's do it. So that just pushes on there like that and then we'll get this connected up to the port on the side of this 
13 seconds to go. There we go, so that's connected. You can see there's two lights there. One light is for access to the drive and the other one is for uh, power. So blue one is access, red one is power. So when we start to transfer we should see the blue one moving. Once installed, run the program, which is the true image. And then from help, go into back, not in backup, sorry, it will back up. But what we want is to go into tools and to clone the disk. Run that, you choose the automatic uh, clone mode, which is what's recommended. Uh, choose the disk that it's going from, and then choose the disk that it's going to. You can see it says USB there. This basically says that it's going to copy it in its entirety. And then it prepares. And the one thing that I would say is when it restarts, it'll assess the time it's going to take and it'll tell you probably two hours. Um, that's not true. It'll take about six hours for a two terabyte disk. Right, so that's that done now. And it took uh, just under six hours. Uh, the the hard drive itself, although it's a ter two terabit, there was uh, just over one terabit of um, storage being used on it. So what we've done now is closed it down. I'm just going to move the keyboard and the mouse, gives a bit of space, move that. Right, now that it's closed down, I can disconnect the SSD, take that off. Just have one last look at it before it goes in. Now then, pop that down. And we need to now access the, um, the Lenovo Idea Center itself. And this has got to be the easiest to access all in one that I've ever owned. And I've owned quite a few of them. So basically, we take the screen by putting it down like that onto something soft. Uh, disconnect the cables. See what I'm doing here. So just disconnect all the cables and the power cable to one side and the Wi Fi for the keyboard and everything. And then you just push down. Like so. That comes off really, really easily. Right now, let's have a look at this. So, if we're looking in here, in fact, let's move this round here. Right, so first things first, if you're looking in here, you've got your connectors there, obviously, um, but underneath this, that's your RAM there, which I've already upgraded. So in there, I've got a, an eight gig of RAM and a four gig of RAM. I did actually think it was four ports. So I've got four gig just lying around somewhere that I can't use. Uh, otherwise it would be 16, but it's running at, it's running on 12 gig of RAM. Here, let's move it round again. Let's move it round again. Right, so here, is the hard drive and it's easy to remove just as simple as that and it's running very hot I mean the fan runs on this pretty much all the time and it's really noisy and that may have something to do with it so if we just take this off so that's it nice and easily removed um, the best thing about this is it's not broken or anything so I can use that in all sorts of things Right, just pop that to one side. And we get the crucial SSD. And that should just push on, like so. Now, that sits in there. Um, 
I can glue it in or something like that, but to be honest with you, it doesn't move around, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave it there for the time being and then put the case back over and boot it up again and see where we're at. So everything's connected properly there. Pop this back on. So move the microphone. Right, so that goes on. Click it into place. As easy as that. Let's get the cables back on. That's there. Um, that's there. Get the Wi-Fi adapter. Pop that in. Uh, I'm not going to connect any of the peripherals up at the moment. Uh, we're just going to see if it boots, to be honest with you. So let's lift this up. So we'll put that back down there. Pull this back. Okay, let's get that out of the way. You can hear the parrot in the background, unfortunately. Right, let's power it up and see what happens. And there's the dog. Okay, so it's powering up. Now the boot on this took over five minutes previously. Um, and it was still not in a position where everything was up and running. Wow, that's quick. Wow, that's quick. And recognises my face. That's fast. Oh wow, that's fast. That is so fast. That is so fast. Right, I'm going to have a play around now. Right, so now I've been playing, I want to put into context what £296 has bought me. This is the Crystal Disc Speed Test, um, and this is prior to the disc being fitted, the SSD being fitted. Now this is post the SSD disc being fitted, and you can see in, in a number format, that's a huge jump in speed. Um, but now what I want to show you is the real world example of the speed increase. Uh, now this is prior to fitting the SSD. And I'm booting up from cold uh, through to Nero 17 video into a place where I can um, I can actually use that. I'm going to have to speed it up because it takes just so long. So all of this takes 5 minutes and 20 seconds and I'm sure you can see why I wanted to speed things up a bit. So now what we're going to see is exactly the same thing but once I've fitted the SSD. Absolutely no need to speed this up. Uh, instead of over 5 minutes it takes under 1 minute, about 56 seconds to be precise. Um, and that's absolutely fantastic. Just to say, I went to the crucial site and it was £308 something for the two terabyte uh, disc. I was going to then go to a cashback site and get three points on the percent back, but after going to Amazon, it was even cheaper on Amazon than, than with the cashback. So I'll put the link for it down below, but a huge, huge recommendation. This is absolutely fantastic. I hope I've managed to give you the confidence to do this yourself because uh, it is well well worth it uh, if you still want to know more go to the crucial website they've got outdo videos on there that are really explanatory as well
and I hope you liked it enough to click the subscribe button. Thank you.